Hey everybody, this is Doug. In this video, I want to talk to you about some of the things you'll need to do to prepare to use Launch, and then some of the things you'll need to do in Launch to prepare to implement analytics. So let's start with before we get into Launch. Now, first of all, I'm hoping that you have access to Launch. When you log into the Experience Cloud, you can go over to the Solution Switcher and click on that, and then go to Activation, and inside of activation, there will be a link to launch. So if you have access to launch, you'll be able to click in there. If you don't, then you'll need to talk to your admin and make sure that they grant you access to launch. Let me also say that at this point, I'm hoping that you have watched the videos or done some other research to get to know launch. I'm not going to go over all of the different aspects of launch. I'm not gonna go over all of the features of launch but I am going to show you how you can quickly get up and running with analytics on a basic analytics implementation through launch. Okay, now a couple other things you'll want to gather. If I jump over here to Excel, and I have my BRD and SDR. And so if you have your business requirements document and you have your solution design here, then hopefully you will have a good idea of some of the things that you'll need to do once you get into launch, right? You'll need some kind of a checklist, some kind of a what do I do first or second or third, and the SDR can act as that kind of a checklist for you. I have only a few things that I have to set up and launch in this basic example. Yours might be a lot more extensive, but you can see over here in column G that I have written down some of the things I'm gonna need to do. I'm going to need to set up a default page load rule and set these variables up in there. I have a couple other rules I'm going to need to do and I'm going to need to configure analytics. So this will act as a good checklist to make sure that I've got everything implemented. Okay, so have that handy. If I go back, then another thing you'll want to know, of course, is your report suite ID. So here in analytics, again, if you go to admin and report suites, you'll be able to see the report suites that you have created. And I hope by this time you've also created at least a dev report suite for your site. So you're gonna need to know this report suite ID. Now the good thing is we won't have to actually type it. We'll be able to use a drop down, and it'll be there and we'll be able to select it. But we do still need to know which one it is. Okay, let's dive back into launch. And we're gonna get started. We're going to create a new property if you haven't already done this for your site. Maybe you already did when you were learning about launch and that's great. But I haven't yet for this one, so I'm gonna put in Geometrics, Clothiers, and this is my property. It is a web property and you can see I have it over here and I'm going to grab this domain that I have it on and put it right into here, okay. And that really only matters if you have multiple domains. Uh, it'll fill some checkboxes in launch. So if you only have one domain, I mean, don't worry about this too much. Just put it in like that and you won't need to worry about it. So I'm gonna hit save. Okay, and here we are, so I'll click into that. Okay, a couple of things we're gonna do uh, to get this all set up and ready to go. And that is, uh, first I just wanna show you the hosts. We're not gonna have to do anything here. If I click on that, it shows us that we have managed by Adobe and that's through Akamai and we're gonna leave it like that. There is an opportunity for you to host that yourself, meaning, and when I say that, I mean the library files and the launch files, but we're going to leave it hosted on Akamai. Now, if you go into environments, you'll see that there has automatically been set up for you these environments, production, staging, and development. So what we need to do is we need to embed the development embed code on our site. So we are going to go over to this install button here, open that up. We're going to click on this icon over here to copy the embed code. And as you can see, this just needs to be pasted inside of the head tag of your document. So I'm going to jump over to a text editor here where I have one of my files open. This is just the index page of that demo site. And I am here at the end of my head section. Now I'm going to put this at the bottom of my head section. And the reason why I'm gonna do that 
is because above here I have a data layer and we'll talk about a data layer in another video but I definitely want to have my embed code after that so that this code the things in my data layer can be used and will be ready for me in launch so I will paste it in there and there's my launch code now again this is the development code and so once we are done developing then we will want to change this code to staging and change it to production as we get going. So even though I'm hard coding this in here, I'm sure you'll have a better way to make sure that that is included on all of your pages. So I'm going to save that and I'm not going to make you watch me upload it to my server, but just know that I will be making sure that that is on all the pages of my site. So let's go back to launch. Okay, and I've done that step. So I've done hosts, we've done the environments, we've put the embed code on the page, and I want to jump into extensions for just a minute here. And you'll see that the core extension is already there. You don't need to configure anything there, it's already done. But we'll go to the catalog, and I want the experience cloud, ID service, there it is, so I'll click install. So you absolutely want to install the Experience Cloud ID service extension for all of your sites that you're ever doing through launch. And so you should just have to do that much. I mean, it should have your org ID here for you. You don't really have to do anything else, especially in this basic implementation. So I'm going to go ahead and just save that and we can move on. Now, one more thing we want to do before we install the analytics extension and get going on all those things. And that is we need to set up a library that we can publish. Okay, and you'll see up here we have working library. And if I say select an option, I can say new library. So I can click there or I can go into this publishing tab and add a new library. It's all the same. Let's so take me into the create new library and I will call it initial setup. You can see I've done this before. And we have to map that to our environment, which is a development environment. Now we're going to go down here and we're going to say add all changed resources. And that will add just that extension that I just added, the Experience Cloud ID service, of course, the core extension as well. And that's really it. And so now I'm going to go up here and say save and build for development. And that will bring me back here and you'll see that it's spinning until it's done. Okay, good, that should be relatively quick. And now I can also select as a working library that initial setup. And so now I won't have to come back into the publishing area every time I make a change on this property, I'll be able to save it and build it to my working library. So those are the main things that we have to do to get set up and ready to go. I hope that was helpful and that you followed along. And uh, after this, we'll go ahead and, and get going with the analytics extension, and good luck.